everybody so today I'm actually filming an empties video showing you empty products that I've finished and my reviews of them I am actually pre-filming some videos before I go on holiday ready for after because I won't want to film as soon as I get back um so I was like oh what should I film and then I saw I had a ton of empty products on the side and I was like I'm gonna film an empties now I'm not gonna talk about these for too long because I don't want this video to be rambly because I do do a lot of empties a lot um, in my opinion, sorry, my leg's gone. <sighs> so I don't want to do too many, but I'm just gonna whiz through them. I don't know why I do so many empties because I really don't buy that many products in comparison to how many I use up. So, but I do get a lot of products for Christmas. So the first thing is this collection cream puff moisturizing lip cream. I, oh my God, I've had this for years, literally. And I literally got to the point where I was like, Georgie, you're not gonna wear this ever again. I can actually kind of swatch this for you because it's a tiny little bit left, but it's like a pinky color. It is a really nice kind of, I would say, um, a summery pink kind of color. And it is really, really nice, but it's just run out. So there we go. The formula of it is quite good. It doesn't last that long but it, it's all right. The next thing is the, the simple oil balancing moisturizer. Sorry, I have to cover my face, otherwise you won't be able to see it. This is my favorite moisturizer ever. Um, it's perfect for um, non-oily skin. I am currently using a different moisturizer just because I like to mix it up a little bit and I feel like your skin benefits when you mix up your skincare. But yeah, it was very, very good and I would highly recommend that product. Um, the next thing is this kind of strawberry flavored lip balm thingy and you know when you get to the point where you're like i've had this for about six years and am i ever going to use it again no so it's just a plain symbol lip balm i don't know why i'm swatching it because it's clear it smells really good though actually that smells amazing but i'm not going to use it again because it's going on your lips and it's probably got like poo on it or something then i've got this natural collection blusher this was in the shade um blushed cheeks how original um and this was pretty decent it was all right i'm gonna try and swatch it swatch it because i've got a little bit left you can't really see it's quite a subtle blush i did actually quite like it i like my blushes to be quite almost peachy toned and this is definitely getting to kind of the pinky peachy tones and i quite liked it um but i did use this stuff a long time ago then i have this cover star natural mascara black to be honest with you this must have come in like a set when I was like five or something. Oh God. Yeah, it's not even used up. I'm just throwing it out. Um, I don't think it's very good. Then I have my natural collection pressed powder in the shade warm. The reason why I'm throwing this out is because I've bought another powder that's better. This isn't by all means run out at all. I've hit pan, but that's about it. It's warm toned, which is probably why I'm not so keen on it. I could keep it if I ran out of my other one, but I've moved on now. Sometimes you've just got to say goodbye to things, even if they haven't completely run out. So I'm going to say goodbye to this and I've moved on. I'm not going to use it again because I might as well just buy something else that I actually like so goodbye oh my god the next thing is this waterproof liner thing and it's supposed to be an eyeliner I got this from like Amazon or something just you know whilst I was buying other things for like a pound it's awful it's like not even it's not even funny this is ridiculously awful the first time I used it like can you just see this like just appreciate what even is that I've used this once and it was awful and now look at it it's all pooey it's horrible um, and I've got eyeliners that I've had for two years and they're still going fine from the collection. So, you know, really bad, really bad. I then have this liner pencil. It's like an eyeliner from, I think it's from like Primark or like, to be honest, I don't know, um, or like Poundland or something. And you know, it, it's it's got no pigmentation to it at all. It's, it's awful, <laughs> not gonna lie to you there. I've got the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This one was in the shade number one fair and I absolutely love this concealer. It is such good coverage. It really does cover well. I have got a tiny bit left in it, but you know, not enough to use. The coverage of this is just amazing. Like honestly, it's brilliant. But I feel like I've recently, well, I don't feel like, I've recently bought another one from Natural Collection. It's here and I'm going to give that one a go because it's cheaper and I like to find cheaper alternatives, but that is definitely a good one and it's still cheap anyway. Then I have another concealer here, which is literally, I used this sort of months and months ago, so I don't know why it's still in my empties, um, but this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up 
concealer and this one's in the shade soft beige nowadays i like to go for the lightest shade of concealer so that i can put it on my highlight area so like my nose under my eyes on my chin that kind of thing slightly here um so i wouldn't go for this again but the formula of it is okay um that's the color of it just here it blends out a lot easier than the collection one the collection lasting perfection but that's only because it's slightly more runny in consistency but yeah it covers all right next up i've got this blush from the collection and it's like a really kind of shimmery blusher and this to me is perfect for kind of the overall glow so it's something that you could dab your brush in lightly and kind of just kind of put it all over your face slightly and it doesn't really it just adds a subtle glow you definitely can't use this as a blusher because it's just too shimmery and you will look ridiculous like you will look like a shimmery shining ball and if that's what you want then you know whatever you want to do but I, I don't think it looks good just putting it out there so it's more of a subtle thing but I did actually pretty much use that up so I did like it then I've got the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme, Extreme? Extreme Mascara and this was like a tester or something and oh look at the brush like I'm sorry mate but my eyeball is smaller than that oh my god like you literally catch your nose your eyebrow you know your hairline it's that big it's too big of a brush um but the mascara was okay considering it's Estee Lauder I would expect better things you know this is a foundation that Lidl have done because it's got the little whatever that says on it um so it's from Lidl it's actually all right like it's an all right foundation it's nothing like really really bad about it it's just not that good um but i think if you've got really good skin then you'd probably quite like this because it's not too full coverage but then at the same time it's no way like light coverage it's kind of medium so yeah it's all right but i did actually run out of it so i did use it all then i've got this rimmel hide the blemish concealer and this has pretty much like run out to the bottom actually i didn't like this when i bought it like it was all right but i wasn't like the biggest fan of it but recently I have been really liking it like yesterday and today and the day before I used this again and it's such good coverage it's a bit cakey which is why I wouldn't rebuy really it but it does cover it like so well I put a really sheer foundation on underneath of this concealer it's the sheer foundation was from um the collection and I put this on over the top and it adds such good coverage but and blends out really really well but it's just a bit cakey so I wouldn't rebuy and finally I've got the Batiste dry shampoo light and breezy one it smelt really nice it did the job I always get Batiste um, dry shampoos because they're the best and that's all I've got to say so that is everything for my empties this time i've done literally like i swear three of these so far on my channel so if you want to go and look back and find them then you can do but that's everything give the video a thumbs up subscribe down below for some more videos and i will see you in my next one goodbye